Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is a weekly reading for my fellow water sign Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are always welcome, but please keep in mind that these are general messages and may not resonate with everyone. So take what is for you and leave the rest for someone else. This is with the planetary energies of November 19th through November 25th. We are leaving Scorpio season, so happy solar return for the last video. And we are entering into Sagittarius season. We do have a Mars Kazemi. We will feel that energy from the 22nd through the 24th. So we're definitely going to get into that. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I run two contests each month, one on my Instagram channel and one on my YouTube channel under the community tab. It's your opportunity to win a free reading with me. So feel free to enter each one each month. And if you are a returning member or subscriber, a special thank you for your continued shares, likes, and subscribes. Guys, you really are helping my channel grow, and I am so appreciative. Feel free to drop a comment below. It helps my channel grow, and I do respond to each one. I'm going to tap into my spirit guides and get the highest and best messages. <clears throat> Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination for Scorpios. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Give us the highest and best. That was a lot. Let's see. That's more than I would normally take, but let's see what they have to say. All right. So I've got stars in the sky, limitless possibilities, number 51. Reducing to the number six. I'm sensing more balance, more autonomy, actually, as well in your life. I'm sensing also a, a lot of new directions. This new moon in Scorpio that we just had on the 13th really um, illuminated new paths for m most of us. Um, it's very possible that you could have met someone new, that you could have started a new job, or you released someone or a job. That was definitely in the cards for us for the last several readings. So limitless possibilities, I'm feeling that um, this energy, this Mars Kazemi, this happens every two years. And so for the last two years, right, we've been talking about how much Scorpios have have changed, right? The energies that we've been experiencing have been a complete transformation over these last two years with the thick of it being over this last year. And now Spirit saying you have a clean slate. And the roads to your abundance are many and they are brightly lit. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm sorry. I get excited when I see these cards. Guys, if you're new to my channel, I really get involved in this reading. So, so number 22, it's a master number. This is fool's embrace, transmuting pain. Man, if this isn't Scorpio energy, right? We, we just take it and take it and take it. Oh. But then we really turn it into something. Like we turn it into a brand new identity, a whole new life. And... This energy, this Mars Kazemi, it's going to come with some really amazing things, but it's also, you know, to get to all that you want, what you had has to go or be transformed. And that's what it is now. We've done all the cutting out and shedding, and it's about transforming. That's this week right here, because you really are in this situation where new things are coming your way. Many of you are going to have those faded encounters this week. If not already happening, it's going to blossom. So I've got, again, number 22, that's reducing to the number four. And, and I'm, they're telling me faith, foundation, friendship, finance. Okay, I, I, I got to remember that. Faith, foundation, family, finance. And they're showing me a square, right? They're showing me a, a cube, a number four. And they're just saying, what was it? Faith, foundation, family, finance. They're saying that's what they want you to focus on. I hope I remember that. Jeez. All right. Number 53, reducing to the number eight. That's a card of creation and self, stranger, curiosity. They're saying you have limitless possibilities ahead. Get out of the loop. Start investigating, exploring. Start challenging your beliefs. Let go of old paradigms. You're no longer... Um, who you're no longer the person you 
thought you needed to be. You are now that shining, vibrant, energetic being that you've transformed into, that you desire to be. And so they're saying, get curious about yourself. Get curious about all the things you can do. Because you, you at this point, do recognize that you're different. And Spirit's saying, test out, test out your limitless potential. Because where I would have said, test out your limitations, they, they stopped me. And they said, that's the thing. There are no limitations. You are your only limitation. And you are what, you know, you create what you think about. Thoughts become things. Number eight. And then they want me to put these three together. So they're having me do things different today. And then these three together. And then we're going to do two piles, they said. Whale song resonating number 61, reducing to the number seven. Who are you today? What serves you? Where can you squeeze more life out of a situation? And if you can't, is it time to move on? And why is it time to move on? Spirit's saying those introspective questions are going to be what you're, what you're going through today. They keep showing me that square. They're saying you're going to challenge your old belief systems on each one of those items. Foundation, faith, family, finance. They just keep saying it over and over again. They're saying you're looking at things completely differently and that your, your view towards the material will change because you're going to understand your ability to manifest and create so you won't hold on as tightly to people or things. <clears throat> Fascinating. Whale song, number seven. Well, 61, reducing to the number seven. Thank you. I'm getting deep quiet. Okay. Deep quiet meditation and stillness. Reflection. Number 11, Archangel Metatron, a pairing, a new beginning, a partnership, walking through a portal of change, releasing doubt and control. Guys, I can't make this up. I could cry. This is so strong. This <clears throat> The energy is so strong in this room always, but today is especially so, and I'm not sure what's going on, to be honest with you, but... Horned Cactus, Resourcefulness, 29, reducing to the number 11. And I just want to point something out. I've got two 11s here, and I've got 22 here. This is intense because the 22 is on this side, and the 22 over here is on this side. And Spirit saying, balance. Balance in who you were and having gratitude for that and who you are now and having curiosity and excitement for that. I love I love this message. I got to be honest with you. It's just the energy in here is so strong right now. <clears throat> Horned cactus resourcefulness. Learning to be adaptable. Again, being unafraid, being curious is going to lead you to adaptability and flexibility. Same thing but Regardless, that's what they're showing me. Okay, so they want me to set it like this and go here. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> All right. Well, this is different, so I'm not really sure. All right, Spirit, go ahead. Show me what it is for this week. Oh, okay. So I've got the high pre... Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm just, uh, this is a surprise to me too, guys, just because I'm a psychic. I didn't see this coming. All right, so um, High Priestess comes in using your intuition, your gut, knowing what's for you. And then we've got the Tower card coming in together. All right, <laughs> so the way I see this, two things happening. If you have lost something, this Tower moment is about letting you, reminding you that part of you knew that you were going to release this job, this partnership, this friendship. Learning to navigate this with ease is the lesson in your moment right now. If you have brought something in, a new job, a new relationship, a new possibility... Spirit saying it's your lesson in this time 
is learning how to release the control and the fear of and the anxiety of what if. Okay, so one second. That's a fascinating message. So now let me see if I can say that again a little bit clearer. Spirit saying, if you are one of the Scorpios that is losing something, it's about doing it with ease and gratitude. And if you are a Scorpio that has brought something in, the lesson for you is about releasing fear and control of, and the anxiety of like, what if, right? So if it's a new job, a new person, release control of like, what if I mess this up? What if they don't like who I am? What if I don't know who I am? You know, Scorpios get in their heads. And if you are releasing something, you know, you're going to release the script of like, why is this happening to me? Why does never anything go my way? Instead, you're, you are going to be, your lesson here is to say, you know, okay, so spirit, why did this happen for me? What's next? What's behind door number two? So, you know, this is about using discernment and your, your deep understanding, your curiosity to, to move through these tower moments. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, they, oh, hold on. They want me to clarify with this deck. Okay. Show me more. Oh, this is about somebody messing with your money, potentially. Wait a second. All right. So I have the Ace of Wands, five, what is this? Seven of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. So, okay, so this, again, this, this might very well be that you had somebody going against you in your job. And we've, this is, this keeps coming up like people in your job working against you. I've been talking about human resource issues for some of you potentially. And, and this has come up so many readings that I'm starting to think it's a good chunk of you. Cause I've gotten a lot of feedback about the work situation, but I am seeing like human resources that's coming through. Um, if you are presented with a package, if you are presented with a write-up, if you are presented for, with an investigation asked, and asked to be part of it, speak the truth, but also be mindful that this is your cue to move, to move on. Um, and it's not because, you know, you've lost a battle to someone who's working against you at work. It's that there is something better for you on the horizon, and that is your tower moment. It's coming through if this was a relationship and you thought that there was someone, um, I don't know, trying to inter intervene or, um, all right, how am I going to say this? If you thought somebody was messing with your person, they are, they're trying to, okay, they're, they're working behind your back and I'm not sure what's, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what's worse because the, the reality is, is that your partner isn't sharing it with you or isn't being honest. And I'm, I'm getting this, this sense of whether or not something has already taken place in a physical sense is, is almost going to be irrelevant to you because what's happening here is this person is enjoying the attention and concealing from you that, um, that, you know, that your friend is making the moves, so to speak. So I'm sorry to break that to you, Scorpio, but this is the week where things like this would happen. It is actually that the new moon in Scorpio is wanting to bring in things to light to you so that you can just be done and move it along. So that would be clarification for this. It's, it's Again, these are things that you had the gut feeling about, but this week it really comes through and you're going to understand why it worked out. So for example, in two months, you might see that your person turns out to be a real piece of shit, right? <laughs> and, and so you might say to yourself, man, I'm really glad that I escaped that. Or it might be that the job that you decide to leave, that company goes under in three or four months because of the way technology overtakes it or something. And that wasn't a slight against technology. If y'all follow me, you know I'm a big fan. It's not that. It's just the possibilities of what can happen. Maybe the company doesn't go under, but you know things change. People have to take on different roles regardless. This is for you. But that's those are the examples I um, am getting from Spirit. So give me one second. Let me look at this. What else, please? Some of you are, okay, for those of you that are attending university or um, second 
uh, secondary education. I'm hearing that you might make a sudden pivot in your studies. So that's something to think about. They're saying if that's something you're considering, like changing your major or like maybe you were, um, it, I'm getting almost more, excuse me, I'm getting more specifically that there is somebody out there that is going to school for acting and has been considering doing um, producing and filming more so like you're considering which way to go. Spirit saying, follow your gut. You're meant to create something that's going to change the masses. So I don't know who that's for, but that was so specific. And if it's for you, I'd love to hear about it. But there's something about your calling is to create something very specific. And it's going to make a huge impact. So go for it. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry, whoever this is. And they're saying that if you are afraid of, you know, the cost of it, just keep going, keep going with what you want. The money will come. All right. Thank you. Oh, wow. Four of wands, nine of wands, eight of pentacles, the high priest, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Cups. This is for those of you that are in a relationship, like a new one, where that where you think you've met that faded connection or you are potentially about to meet someone. I'm seeing, remember how I was saying to you that for those of you who need to release fear and the control and the anxiety of like, what if, what if this person doesn't like who I am? What if this person, what if I don't know who I am by the time I find this person? It's coming through like four of wands, nine of wands, eight of pentacles. There's a fear, there's an anxiety there because of your past about what your future relationships would look like. And spirit saying this eight of pentacles, like really start paying attention to the stories you're telling yourself. Because you are bringing about what you think about. And if you continue down this path of like, I'm not good enough. I don't know that I need to be with people. I don't, you know, whatever negativity you're telling yourself, whatever this anxiety is, this story, if you don't release it, it's going to be problematic. And it's going to lead to more of these tower moments until you recognize your worth. So spirit saying that you are valuable, you are worthy, and there is love coming your way. And you are already loved. But the key to receiving this is acknowledging that you are worthy and learning to love yourself. It's about having gratitude. Walk, walking away from situations and places that are just okay is reason enough to... Um, let me start over. What I'm trying to say is desire, intention, will is enough to propel you to a abundant lifestyle if you are willing to take chances. And those chances include sometimes walking away from things that are perfectly fine. This person has eight full cups and there's nothing wrong with eight cups. You're, you are, you know, okay at work. You have enough money. You have enough happiness, but it's mundane, meaning it's lackluster, right? There's nothing, you're in a loop. You've done it for so long. It's time to change. It's time to change things up and get your nine and 10 of cups. And you need to figure out what that is for you and not feel bad about that. This Mars Kazemi is going to give you that energy that, that you require so that you can finally take that nine and 10 cup steps. I don't think that came out right. Take the steps to get your eight and nine cups. Thanks for bearing with me, Scorpio. <laughs> so the Eight of Cups, moving ahead to get what it is that you desire. King of Cups. I feel strongly that some of you may be in this position where you are going to be engaging with someone who is emotionally mature, someone who is unafraid to be vulnerable. I'm also sensing that this person is... Um, what's like they see things from a healed perspective, but are also very aware of their shortcomings or their perceptions of shortcomings. 
Um, and, and I feel like this is a person who is like, I, I just keep hearing unafraid to be vulnerable. Um, and it's coming across also that this person might be a little bit more traditional in their belief systems. And you are going through a situation where you are challenging or having your belief systems challenged. So this could be a very interesting, um, an interesting uh, meeting of sorts. So, so you can expect something there. Um, they want me to clarify one moment. Something flipped up. The full card. I don't know. I got excited because as I was, <laughs> all right, Scorpio. I recognize you can't hear my thoughts. So as I was shuffling and I'm looking at these cards here, I'm like, wow, this really, this really looks like Scorpio is about to have like a brand new beginning and perspective towards relationships or something, because it's like the way that all of this is playing out is that this tower moment with this high priestess, it's almost like deep down inside, you've wanted to do something, but the circumstances haven't been right, or maybe there's been a fear of releasing it, that last little thing, or maybe the leap was too big, and so there was apprehension. But Spirit's saying that like whatever barrier you had previously, whatever belief system you had that was preventing you from being this fool is coming down like a, you know, like a house of cards falling. And that's really spirit saying that you're a little stubborn Scorpio and you wouldn't have made the leap otherwise. And this is, this is what's happening this week. It's like, I don't know, this is probably the best combination of things that could have happened to you. I'm almost, I'll tell you what I'm seeing, which is kind of funny. They're showing me that movie, The 40-Year-Old Virgin. And, you know, when he rips off the chest hair and he's like, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> That's what Spirit's showing me. Like, this is what needs to happen. Like, you need the wax, right? <laughs> you gotta get more wax. <laughs> the spiritual ADD has kicked in. I don't know what to tell you. So, the full card. Yes. You are starting over, but this is, you have to do it carefree. And that's you, you, like, when this happens, you're going to be like, are you serious? Well, you know what? I guess I might as well go for it. Like you do lose your job or you do get a job offer or your person, like I said, you find out that that situation and you're like, you know what? I knew it. I'm done. And you just move forward. So it's going to be a quick ripping, nothing that's going to completely shock you. It's just more or less confirmation. Um, and again, if you are hesitant about making a move forward because you feel that financially you are unable to, spirit saying like those are false beliefs. And the thing is now you have to chase after what it is that you desire and do so with ease because the universe wants you to do it. And what you seek is also seeking you. There is a relationship coming in for you, Scorpio, that has a very healed component to it. I'm sensing that it's almost like you're going to find balance in who it is that you meet because it, it's like you have a similar situation or a similar background, some type of similarities that bring you to a space of ease. But also it's anxiety provoking because I believe, Scorpio, that based on all of this, you were very set in your mind that you were going to live life one way. And then suddenly, and almost like without warning, it's you're like you're taking a turn for a new direction. And there's a lot of energy in this week that's making sure that you step forward because you're being called to do so. The King of Pentacles, this is a card of convention and tradition and um, stability as well, forward thinking. All right, fascinating, one second. It could be, okay. Well, this is a good pairing. All right, so well, I've got the King of Pentacles the king of pentacles and the queen of wands. I like this couple together. And again, this doesn't matter, male, female, this is about energies. So if you're new to my channel, I really don't subscribe to gender. 
this is more or less the energies. So what we have here are two beings. We have one that's really fiery and sexy and like all eyes on me. Um, someone who has stepped into their energy and really gives zero Fs at this point, you know, and this is more than likely a Scorpio because we really, oh, hey, wrong card, Queen of Wands. This is more than likely us where it's, you know, we, we've gone through it and we probably have set ourselves on fire over the last two years, a hundred times. <laughs> I know I did. And so now it's at being coming out through the other side, scars and all, and being proud of it. And I feel like there's something about your energy that's attracting what would be somebody who is normally very conventional and calm and, but, you know, also desires something. I don't know. This is a good pairing here. This, this is a good balancing act. So spirit saying also, <clears throat> if this is about a job, this is also going to be in your favor because this could be something that is beneficial for generations to come. Like maybe you're building a business or you are um, going to be in charge of something where what you do moving forward actually matters. Like it really makes a difference and it puts you in this position of being very secure and abundant in yourself and in life. It's almost like what it is that you do in your next phase of life, Scorpio, because now you're understanding, follow your heart song and everything falls into place. I'm sensing that you are really making changes like in, in the world. And I know that might sound a little bit, um, I don't know, like a lot, but think about it. The more that you work on yourself and the more that you are just authentically you, the more that you inspire others one person at a time or by the thousands, depending on how you choose to express yourself, that is changing the world, right? So it's not that far-fetched. It's your perspective on what changing the world means that needs to shift for you to do the work that you're being called to do. I see the four of swords here. It's time to rest, release control, release fear. That keeps coming through because that's what's really been in your way because you know that you can handle it. You know you're strong enough. You know all of those things. But there is a part of you that says, you know, I've done it once. I've done it twice. I don't know if I can go through another breakup. I don't know if I can move one more time. I don't know if I can start a new job. You can. You can and you will. You will, and you're going to do it in ease because there's no rush. There's no hurry. There's no, there's no end of the internet. You can relax. Things will fall into place because the first thing you need to do is set your intention, right? Set your desires, put your will into action, start being about what you talk about and you will attract all of the right things and you can do it with ease, even in the eye of the storm, even when the towers fall around you, you can be the last man standing. And I guarantee you others will find you. So be at ease during these transitions. You're not alone. What else? Thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Number 12, the hanged man looking at things differently. As I was speaking about perspectives, spirits asking me to remind you about anger. This is really important, they're saying, because this week you are going to be fueled with energy. <clears throat> this Mars Kazemi has Mars at the heart of the sun in Scorpio. Well, <laughs> in Sagittarius, but during, like, just at the end of Scorpio season. So, you may find yourself feeling enraged, um, I don't know, hormonal. Um, you may find yourself feeling angry at, what's the word I'm looking at? Um, the past, right? I'm hearing relax, <laughs> relax and take, take a new perspective because every story you could possibly tell yourself about a situation is true. They're saying that 
the, the, the perspective you're mad about, it's true. The perspective you have, it's true. It's all true. And that's the lesson. And when you accept that, you can release control that you need to be right. You can just be healthy instead. You can just be kind instead. You can just be busy doing something else instead. Take some time. Think about it. What is it doing for you to stay angry at the past? How is it serving you to continue to give energy and life to a situation that is no longer in front of you? And even if it is in front of you, if that's not where you desire to be, place your consciousness where it is that you want to be with what resonates with you. And that is where your energy will flow. And when you don't feed the beast and the demons, they don't have the energy to survive. That perspective is life-changing. It allows you to be in a space of ease when the tower moments come because you can look at it as an interested party instead of as the actual tower falling. It's happening for you. I know I say that all of the time, but it truly is something that we have to pound into our heads so that we can ride the waves of transformation. Also, it leads to abundance because the 12 reduces to the number three, which is Empress energy. The Empress is abundance with her material, absolutely, but she's abundant in all ways because she's a magician. She can take anything any pain and she can transmute it. Honestly, this is number 12, right? No, this is number 22. But he, over here is transmuting pain and that's what the Empress does, right? And we might, we might see her, but <clears throat> she can take anything and feed it into Mother Earth, feed it into the ground and request it to come back up even better than before transformed. And so many times, even though she's an Earth sign, I see her as like the Earth embodiment of Scorpio. Because it's, it is a card of transformation, in my opinion. Just transformation in the material. Anything else? Three of Cups, celebration, right? There is a lot of celebration coming up. Um, depending on what you celebrate and where you are, this is a time of holiday and rejoicing and coming together with community. For some of us, that's who we consider our family, but this could be also family. This could be the feminine in your family, sisters, friendships, camaraderie, and celebration. I really am sensing that there is going to be um, moments celebrating. A actually, this is a little bit, um, well, this is very specific. Somebody's gonna find out that they're pregnant. Congratulations, by the way. Somebody, somebody, and I don't know that this is going to be the same person, but somebody else is finding out that they're having twins. So fascinating. And well, it could be the same person. I don't know. But listen, somebody's pregnant. Somebody's having twins. That's what I can tell you. I love that. Um, so back to the three of cups. I think that that is going to be one of the major celebrations for, for someone out there. So comment below if that happens to be you or someone you know. Um, so back to the, this, I feel like thought there was also going to be new friendships coming in for you, Scorpio, a new community. And again, that's, what is this? Yeah. It's the devil card. Okay. A couple of things for those of you that are feeling the heaviness of the holiday season, Spirit saying to try to take a different perspective when it comes to that feeling of loneliness, because again, you are not alone and it is a perception and this is available to you. Community is available to you. Togetherness is available to you. The devil card is about perceptions and it can be a card of addiction. It can be a card of depression um, and really just false perceptions because these people are bound in their minds, you know, together and they're bound to each other and each other's energies. But all they have to do is like reach over and pull the, the noose off their neck and they can just move on. So it's a false belief and spirit saying for those of you, many of us, right? That loneliness that we feel as the days get, you know, darker 
and you know we are flooded with commercials of family and togetherness and scorpios really enjoy their alone time and maybe this isn't as you know this this whole community and stuff doesn't even come up to us in our minds until we're flooded with images of it Spirit saying, you know, you're never alone. You always have people. You always have the ability to reach out. There's always someone on the other line. Even if you don't think that's true, you can literally hop online and turn this on and here I am, right? You, you aren't alone. So it's about your perceptions and coming out of that past paradigm that you're not worthy or that somehow there's something wrong with you or that you're too weird or unable to be around people. That's coming to an end. Change that perspective friendships, community, all of that's available to you. Also, Spirit saying be mindful not to overdo it this next couple of weeks. There is a lot of energy coming our way that's going to make us feel uneasy and more susceptible to turning to our vices. So everything in balance, that is fine. If you feel yourself turning towards too much, take a step back, center yourself, and reset. Okay, 10 of wands, Wait, no, they want these cards together. 10 of wands, the ending of heavy burdens and putting things down with options coming your way. Give me one second, we've got, oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, so I see the seven of wands here, or the seven of cups here, a card of options, right? Coming your way and a card, like you're not lacking for options. As a matter of fact, you might have some serious decisions to make in the near future. But those these options and these decisions are allowing you to put down a lot of, um, it's not even just burdens and things like that, but this is like perspectives. How should I put this? It's, it's coming through actually more about your surroundings and your social circle. So when I was saying to you just a minute ago about the devil energy and that perception of being alone is false, actually this is a continuation of that. Because Spirit's saying not only are you not alone, but there are options available to you. It's almost like look up. Look up and see how many places you can get yourself involved in, or how many things you can get yourself involved in or what is this? One second. Okay. They're saying stop with the negative self-talk and start investigating the different things that you could be doing, right? We're back to the get curious. I think it was over here. Get curious, they're saying. Get curious about, you know, just everything. Uh, challenge your belief systems. We're back to that. Challenge your belief systems because because there's a part of you that is looking at your life and saying, okay, well now what? I've planted all these energetic seeds. I've changed the relationship, took the leap of faith, started the new job. I've met the person, but is it worth it? Is all of this work worth it? Is something going to come out of this particular person, this particular loss? And spirit saying, yeah, it, it is. You can put down the burdens of worrying and again, release the control and fear and options are available to you if you just look outside of the loop that you've been in and the outcome card is the sun. And I was so, that's why I got so surprised when I saw it. I was so happy. I was like, oh, we've reached the, maybe there is the end of the internet. No, <laughs> this reading ends with the sun, happiness, fulfillment, joy, excitement, passion, Mercury is, or I'm sorry, Mars is in the heart of the sun. The illumination, the desire to move forward, that passion, curiosity, all of those things, the foundation, the family, the finance, the faith, all of those things are what we are being asked to redefine, reevaluate, re-enliven, appreciate our lessons, move forward with curiosity and see what's out there. And you will be successful as long as you follow your heart song and, and just allow things to take place. I love that. All right, they want me to pull a shadow card and I will do that as I do every week. Oh, 
Okay, I've not seen this card before, but the messages are coming through. This reads Parasite, and Spirit's giving me a very clear message. So, this reads Parasite, and the number on here is 19. So, the number one is new beginnings, the number nine is endings, you put it together, it still is 10 with number one being new beginnings again and zero being limitless possibilities. And we had that come up several times in this reading. Spirit saying, parasite, it, don't let the little things get to you. Pick and choose your battles. A little thing, when you allow it to gain traction and you think about it over and over and over again, pounds that energy into a thought form and that thought form within you grows like a parasite. And then the next thing you know, it becomes something truly devastating to your mind and your physical vessel. Thoughts become things. Be in touch with what it is you're thinking about. Spirit does not expect you to change it overnight. The expectation is recenter yourself and recalibrate acknowledge that you are creating a parasite and say, okay, I don't want that to grow within me. I don't give you any more energy. That simple acknowledgement is like taking the world's best drugs to eliminate and eradicate this parasite. Thoughts become things. You project it, you connect it, and you expect it. When you have baneful thoughts, when you have images in your mind that you know could really cause chaos within you or outside of you, get to center, take a deep breath, don't give it energy. Thoughts become things. All right. And lastly, oh, from here. Okay. What can we manifest here this week? I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in love of the universe. I'm going to read that again. I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in love of the universe. I just adore what this message is saying. Find that stillness within you. And as I was saying before, when you find yourself ruminating in things that don't matter, they really don't. It's not to your betterment. Find that sense of quiet. Find that gratitude. Each day, allow that to grow. Allow that to be the seed that you plant within you. Don't feed the parasite. Feed the light right? Strengthen your faith each day in the love of the universe because the universe is conspiring for you and not against you. All right, guys, I hope this message serves you. Please feel free to share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and drop some comments below. And as always, we are just stars from the sky with feet on the ground doing the best that we can. So speak only your truth and you will heal words with you will heal worlds with your words and may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it and until next time shine brightly scorpio and have a great week ahead